As many of our viewers know, I, I've been tasked with our regional bank coverage for this particular quarter because it has been so important to the overall market and economic narrative. Have you gleaned anything from what we could consider the most important regional bank reports so far this season? Well, we can, Dom. I mean, you know, one of the things that we have is that on, on the systemic side, we feel actually, you know, pretty good about things. I mean, we see there's news out that the, the Fed has reduced the frequency of its dollar funding so that, uh, you know, there's less need for this added liquidity uh, to save the system. <laughs> uh, uh, but we don't have, uh, we, but the problem is uh, on the economic side. I mean, these, these big uh, change in uh, deposits, I mean, a lot of people think, well, it's okay, it's all going to you know, Bank America or J.P. Morgan or the big banks. Well, a lot of it is not. A lot of it's going to money market funds and to T-bill rates where people are getting a much better return. And, you know, when these banks have, have less, less money, uh, I mean, I guess my point is we don't have to wait for the, you know, for the senior loan officer survey to know that banks are, are pulling in their horns when it comes to lending. When you have a cre uh, you know, uh, less uh, credit in the system, uh, you know, you, you're, you're going to have a, sl a further slowdown. I guess my point is that, you know, I mean, sometimes we just have to use some common sense here when we start thinking about the odds that we're going to have a recession or not. Uh, and at this point, uh, you know, when, when cre credit contracts you're pretty much going to get going to get a recession, and and at some point the stock market is going to catch up to that uh, realization. Matt, Matt, we're showing our viewers right now a whole slew of different charts, regional bank ETFs, some of the the price action right now pre market for some of the big regional lenders that are not necessarily in the same class as a, a First Republic or a Western Alliance. What did this First Republic earnings report do? in terms of your ability to say whether the regional bank trade is safe to get into right now, uh, is it not? It, it, it you know, it, it, it seems to me it's not. Uh, that doesn't mean, you know, the, the worst is behind us, whatever. But, you know, the, you look at those charts, as, as you mentioned, Dom, when we get the big kind of, you know, kind of crash, and we basically had a, a crash in that, in that group for, for about, a, you know, just about a week in March. And when you get that, when a, when a, when a, when a group comes down like that and it trades sideways for a while, uh, that's good if, if, the, if the decline was a very gradual one. When it's kind of a crash, you usually get a nice sharp bounce back uh, for at least a little bit. Uh, we didn't even get that at all. It was a very feeble bounce. And now we're testing the bottom on the, on the KRE. We're, you know, we're testing the bottom on Silicon Valley Bank. Uh, I guess my point is I think we're going to have to see more of a washout before we really see those great opportunities that you know, some people like Bill Gross are looking for. Uh, you know, maybe you get them in individual names right now, but for the group overall, I think you're going to have to see more, more of a washout before they become a great buy.